surface has left the planet but returned? Gravitational waves detectors catch harmony from pop hit. The King's fascinating fascination with UFOs and alien life forms, written about extensively, with his shocking death in 1977, dismissed by some fans who desperately wanted to believe that maybe he was uh, somehow still alive or even abducted by aliens or that he was uh, out of this world himself. Now scientists monitoring space for gravitational waves may have given them another reason to hope. Scientists manning gravitational wave detectors reported picking up on vibrations from a distant cosmic collision, which eerily harmonizes with the opening chorus in Elvis Presley's 1961 hit, I Can't Help Falling in Love with You, according to Science Magazine report. Citing data from the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO, detectors in Washington, Louisiana, and the Virgo Interferometer in Canada, Italy, said the vibrations, the result of a merger of a pair of black holes, were a first for scientists because unlike previous observations which saw the collision of black holes of roughly equal masses, this time one of the black holes weighs over three times as much as the other, resulting in the creation of gravitational waves at multiple frequencies. The event was detected just uh, April 21st of 2019, about a year ago, believed to have taken place some 2.4 billion light years away when a black hole equivalent to 30 solar masses collided with a second black hole of just eight solar masses. And they said, Dr. Maya Fischbach, LIGO member of University of Chicago said, this is the first time in which we can confidently say the mass ratio is not one. The find is exciting, not only because of the chord of frequencies generated by the mismatched pair of black holes, sounds like the first notes from the King's hit song, but because it serves to confirm theoretical concepts first outlined by Albert Einstein a century ago in his general theory of relativity. Unlike spiraling of two black holes of equal mass, which results in emission of gravitational waves of a single frequency, the event witnessed last April confirms the concept uh, that a merger of black holes with mismatched mass masses, but like this one, would create weaker gravitational waves at higher frequencies, with the st second strongest note sung, quote unquote, by the pair of black holes vibrating at three times that of the original frequency, or one and a half times that of the main frequency. Einstein prevails again, according to Dr. Maximiliano Isi, the LIGO member and physicist from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, excitedly noted that the recent meeting of the American Physical Society to discuss this uh, black hole merger. The discovery may also offer scientists clues about how a pair of large black holes could form so close to one another, something scientists still don't have a definite explanation for, although there are various theories floating. Among them is the idea that the black hole pair may have come about as a result of the collapse of orbiting massive stars. Another theory is that black holes form separately in completely different quadrants of the galaxy, only to find one another later on. Now, gravitational waves are essentially wave-like disturbances in space-time caused by acceleration of masses which generally generate uh, gravitational fields. Also, to the U.S.-based LIGO and the Italy-based Virgo ground-based detectors, the European Space Agency and China's National Space Administration created a spacecraft meant to improve efforts to listen out for such phenomena. Russian astrophysicists announced late last year that they were hoping to join their Chinese colleagues for collaborative projects in this field. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. 
Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.